At the National Gallery, we feel we are a truly national gallery and we want to share our collection with the rest of the country. So we think it's really important to be able to lend great works like this Holbein portrait to galleries like the New Art Gallery in Walsall. I think it's incredibly important that the New Art Gallery has been selected as the launch venue of this National Gallery Masterpieces Tour. I think it reflects the importance that we have in terms of our peer group across the United Kingdom, but it also shows that we show historical art, modern art and contemporary art together. So this gives a real flavour of what we can do across 500 years of art. It was really important for us to place the work in the context of our family gallery space, which is on the ground floor, because we'd like this space to be a, a way in and kind of access point for new visitors and local people and, and passers-by in a way to learn about the work of the gallery and hope that then they'll go on to explore the collections further. We also have family activities. We have a selfie station where you can dress up and to recreate the portrait and also activity sheets um, where you can design your own family crest and draw your own portrait and add it to our vinyl backdrop as well. Holbein's Lady with a Squirrel and a Starling is one of the most popular works in the National Gallery and I think one of the most beautiful portraits that we have. When you see it in the flesh, Although I think it's 490 years old, it is so contemporary, it has a flat design, it's quite graphic, but the way that it's been painted is amazing because it comes to life right in front of your eyes. Walsall was selected because of what they proposed to do with the painting and the ways in which they proposed working with their local community and the people who come to Walsall Art Gallery the programmes that they wanted to offer and also because of the ways in which they wanted to make this painting resonate within their collection. We're known for our prestigious Garmin Wine collection which was gifted to the people of Walsall in the 70s by Kathleen Garmin. So the way we display our collections is quite unique that it's um, thematically rather than chronologically. To make links between art from all periods, it's quite an eclectic collection and that's what we continue to do in our displays. And two of the strong themes in our collections are portraits and animals and birds. So alongside the Holbein, um, we've juxtaposed works by um, royal academicians such as Daniel MacLeese, and Edward Matthew Ward, alongside more contemporary works by um, Mohammed Barusha and Sarah Taylor Silverwood. We've decided that this should be an introduction to the rest of the gallery so that people see this first and then make a tour of the New York Gallery. And also because we're trying to attract families to this gallery. And I think all of that in a tremendous building designed by Caruso St John was the reason why we were selected.